lots to take in. 27 cars on the grid for a 16 lap race. And here's how they line up, Lounsey, while we take a look at the grid. Who do you like? Who have you been impressed by so far throughout what's been quite an interrupted build-up to this race? Well, I think uh, Callum Hedge, to be honest, and also Luke Yildon. Luke Yildon's only stepped in for this sort of almost a cameo appearance and really fitted into it uh, extremely well. So I'm going to be really interested to see how those two get off the line, get down through that first chicane. And, of course, then uh, look at the Pro-Am side of it. Adrian Flack, as you mentioned, uh, you just uh, with Sam Shaheen, who is fourth in their lineup, which is a bit further back. Um, and we know Sam, I know Sam really well, and he's yeah. really, really focused to try and make that pro am his own. So he's got a little bit of work to do. Everyone gets themselves locked and set for a return to street racing in Carrera Cup. Green flag. There's the green. It's a fine line between success and the fence and Surface Paradise. How do the Porsches negotiate it? Good start, Bailey Hall. Better start, Dylan O'Keefe. Really good start, Dylan O'Keefe. He splits the second row. He's going to tuck in behind Callum Hedge. And the run down into turn one. Instantly gets himself behind the Kiwi Porsche. Nice job. Wally next. Luke Yulden hasn't started one of these cars in 12 months. It showed a little bit. He's dropped a few spots. Some dramas behind. We'll pick that up. Bailey Hall was on the outside. That's Thomas Maxwell in the Spitwater car going very, very slowly. He's had some contact down there at Turn 1. Good start, Hedge, but play of the day so far. Dylan O'Keefe, brilliant stuff. And the yield point works, so Darwood edges in in front. Triple Seven, however, straight lines across. He was battling with Alex Davis and that's Simon Fallon. Doing a great job on this opening lap. Whoa, oh, big sense. Jackson Ball gets it down the inside of Darwood. Oh, and Coltide gets a hit for his troubles. Tried to take advantage of Wood going slowly on the exit of 11. Couldn't get by. Now Max Vado is going to try and fight there in the Techworks car. You said Jackson Wall is going to be quite aggressive on this. He needs to get up to get close to his uh, championship contender, which is way out in front. He's almost got a, a, a 0.6 second gap already on this opening lap. And we know Jack, uh, sorry, Callum Hedge is so good on cold tyres. And we talk about getting that uh, feel as a driver, but Callum Hedge is bolted at the way at the moment in the front of Dylan O'Keefe. One down, 15 to go. Hedge, O'Keefe, David Wall third. Luke Gilden is next off the front row of the grid. Back to fourth. Bailey Hall next. Young Queenslander for McElroy going along well. Jackson Wall's upper spot to sixth after a combative opening lap. And it wasn't quite a full Scott McLaughlin down there at turn 11, but it had all the hallmarks of being so with everything locked up in the objective car. But there is the young Kiwi that leads the way. Dylan O'Keefe behind, one at Sandown. Two of the three races there in brilliant style. Had his pockets picked in one of them with a last lap pass, but he's still got the big trophy. And I've got to say, when you're behind another competitor, especially when you're approaching the first chicane or the back beach chicane, it's really difficult to, to find out where that entry curve is because once you find that, you sort of got a bit of a feel. But when you're behind, oh, no, that's... Uh, Matt Belford. That Mac, Mac, uh, Max Belford, and that's on the... So it's turn 11, so exit of the beach chicane, and there's yeah. been reasonable contact for the ID Land car. The Melbourneian was on the podium last time out at Mount Panorama in SP Tools Pro-Am, and he's well stranded there, so you'd suggest the BP safety car will be on the racetrack. Let's go back and unpick the start, Craig. And uh, second row of the grid. Paul, there is a car left-hand side in the wall at turn wow. nine, turn 10. That's the voice of David Stewart, the race director. That start from O'Keefe was brilliant. The team will go back and have a really good look at the 0 to 100 time, which is the good judge of a start. Yeah, just looking in the middle of the pack there. Oh, they're three wide trying to get through that middle part. Oh, oh there was contact. That was Rodney Jane. I, I, I think, think it was a bit further up. I think it, it might have been Missouri with Harry Jones squeezed out oh. wide. Yeah, it was. So, oof. Harry had nowhere to go and was, was in the tyres basically already. Missouri was in the middle. This will show it. Almost a repeat of what happened we saw in the category before with the yeah it, super huge. It really hard to police that though, Craig, because they were all doing the right thing, trying to stay on the racing surface. Yeah, again, oh. Ange Mazeris is just a little bit sort of further back. These are the meat and the sandwich, and the other two came together. And as you can see there, he's not happy. It actually looks like he's got a bit of right hand down on the steering wheel. So whether he's got some more suspension dramas from that, because it was a fairly heavy hit from both sides. Yeah, he looks like he's right hand down. So he won't be happy with all that. 
And this is what happened to Matt Belford. So just torch the right front going into the beach. She came oh. and scraped the fence, which did all the work in taking the momentum out of the car. So that could have been much worse. He's actually taken off uh, a quarter of the rear wing as well. So it's, you can see there, just way out of shape there. Gets the tyres and then literally, luckily, just scrapes against the wall. And then everyone else taking evasive action. So there's the remainder of the rear wing of the ID Land car. That's sort of plugged for Amadi Wines. That's why you get the high visibility signage on the end plate. So that's ended up quite a long way from where the car's ended. Yes, it has, for somebody yeah. later on today. And the other interesting thing with all this is now going on with the safety car, looks like Liam Talbot is now leading the Pro-Am. So he had a really good start and got in front of Adrian Flack. So Liam Talbot, Adrian Flack, Dean Cook and Sam Shahin. And a great reaction from the fans down there at turn 11, the exit of the beach chicane as Matt climbs out. So it took a little bit longer because the driver's side of that car was squeezed up against the fence. So had to get out the passenger seat. Naughty. And watch for the experience of Dylan O'Keefe, who's plenty of starts in these cars. Very successful. More than 100 race starts in Carrera Cup. There's the green. There's the go point. And Callum Hedge puts 520 Porsche horsepowers to the ground. Back on the way. This Ten is, to go. This is a great opportunity for, for Dylan O'Keefe now to put a lot of pressure on on Callum Hedge because he was just about a half a second off him before the safety car came out. He's right on him now on the exit of his first chicane. Wall well, feels like he needs to defend and Fabian Coulthard going a long way around. Someone's got it locked up. That was Davison in STM and Fabian Coulthard's had dramas and it's cleaned up Max Vido unwittingly on the inside as two other cars got together. Vido was trying to pick the eye of the needle through that and got caught up in it. And for the second time in as many sessions today, he has got safety damage. Safety car boards and flags, safety and car scramble. Safety car. And we say, how, how do we say it all the time? Uh, safety yeah. cars breed safety cars because they all bunch up and they're all so desperate to try and get that opening lap. That's a great opportunity to get some passing done. But when things like that go on, you've got 20 other cars behind you approaching you and it's no good for anything. And you've got no room on this track to avoid it. You've got concrete walls and it's really a shame for Max Vido. The, the Utes have been a bad influence, I think, on the Carrera Cup field. And it's the same corner that Max had damaged on that car earlier today in qualifying. So they'll have to throw another guard and another headlight at it. Porsche spare parts truck will be busy. Well, it's been a challenging second half of the season for the young man from the Adelaide Hills. So watch for Davison. He started by having a lockup, but in front, Coulthard was going oh. around the outside of Woods, and they sort of interlocked wheels coming out of turn four, and then Vidot was trying to gobble them both up. Oh, Tim Miles. Tim Miles. Oh. And what was six points will build to more than 20 going into race two tomorrow morning. The young Kiwi for Team Porsche New Zealand is going to win race one. The streets of surfers paradise. It might have been behind the safety car, but it's still a win. It counts. And championship points will apply. So Hedge gets there. O'Keefe second. He's going to be very happy with that start. He passed more cars than anyone in that race. He had a rocket start, so I think it's going to be great for him. But as we're getting to, it was a progressive grid. So these now, the ones that haven't finished the race, they're going to start way back in the grid. And these race results for Callum Hedge done a fantastic job. He got away off the line. Dylan O'Keefe, as you said, amazing start. Yeah, it was. And that puts him on the front row tomorrow. Gee, if he does that again tomorrow, he leads by five. Carl <laughs> into turn one. He'll love that. David Wall on the podium. First time this year in the top three. Huge result for Wally. Great job. Liam Talbot wins the Pro-Am class again. Opening lap success for Liam. Did the job in the Mount High car that time round in front of Flack, who builds his championship lead over Sam Shahin. Darwood, Max Fado, and these are all the non-finishes. It's going to be a late night in the Porsche paddock. Getting these cars ready to go for more than 30 lap enduro in the morning, where hopefully we get some green flag running. Here's how it played out, an interrupted affair. Race one, Porsche Carrera Cup on the streets of Surfers Paradise. The big story was the start. The next year on Porsche, Dylan O'Keefe swept around the outside, but this was the big crash that brought out the safety car. Yeah, that was the first of them. And you can see here on, on and Mazuris, he was just the meat and the sandwich. It was a bit of a clumsy thing, but for, for Maxwell, unfortunately, when he got turned across the nose, he actually hit the concrete wall. And this is walled absolutely sending it down into turn 11 inside of Dale Wood. And Dale Wood and Fabian Coulthard had contact there. And then there was Belford, who just got it out of shape through that beach chicane. And then, of course, you can see part of that rear wing coming off, getting dislodged, breaking off. 
he ended up against the wall. You can see there being a left-hand drive vehicle climbing out the passenger side. And then this was the restart. Everything seemed to be going really nicely at this point. Yeah, we had high hopes. We get a sprint to the end and then this. So Wood on the inside, Coulthard and the pink BWT car on the outside. They lock wheels. The innocent victim is Max Fado, who's fired hard right into the fence on the exit of turn four, just before the little kink there. And unfortunately, that end of the day for the tyre power car. He was out of the race. Thumbs up, though. He's OK and will live to fight another day. In the end, the BP Ultimate safety car spent more time on the track than the Porsches today, but Callum Hedge got the chequered flag and got the race win. So an outstanding performance for the young Kiwi who executed nicely when the opportunities presented and he builds his championship lead going into Sunday.